This highlights video of our adventures to Edinburgh span over multiple days. There is so much to do with lots of history to learn about and places to visit. We caught a local bus into the city as the public transport system in Edinburgh is a fantastic way to get around. The Royal Mile is a historic and iconic thoroughfare in Edinburgh, stretching approximately one Scots mile, which is 1.81 kilometres, through the heart of the city's old town. It runs from Edinburgh Castle at the top down to the Palace of Holyrood House at the bottom, making it a significant route for tourists and locals alike. St Giles Cathedral, also known as High Kirk of Edinburgh, is a prominent and historic church located on the Royal Mile in the heart of Edinburgh's old town. It has been a focal point for worship and political events in Scotland for nearly 900 years. The Thistle Chapel, built in 1911, is a remarkable part of the cathedral, adorned with intricate carvings and dedicated to the Order of the Thistle, Scotland's foremost order of chivalry. The original church was founded in the 12th century, although much of the current structure dates from the 14th century and later. The cathedral is renowned for its beautiful stained glass windows, which were installed mainly in the 19th and 20th centuries. The guided tour of Mary King's clothes would not allow photography. It takes visitors through a series of preserved rooms and streets that are now underground. There's actually two museums of modern art in Edinburgh, but they're walking distance apart from each other. So give yourself lots of time to get between the two. We've been to a lot of museums. This is the best I've ever been to in the world. We are in the National Museum of Scotland. I think that's it, isn't it? It's vast. It is so big, there is something for everyone. We had to come back a second day to finish our visit. Highly recommend. You know, the, uh, Scottish Museum in Edinburgh with all these really old bikes. Absolutely love them. That's uh, Dunlop's first pneumatic tyre. So this is the Iron Maiden apparently, which was used for beheading about 120 people before it put into retirement.
啊，差不多，啊，我懂。Right, right. 
Their ceremonial duties include various displays, including daily changing of the guard, reenactments, and parades, showcasing the rich military history of Scotland. Another ceremonial duty is the firing of the one o'clock gun, a time signal that has been a tradition since 1861. So we hung around for that, it was very loud. It is fired every day at 1pm except on Sundays, Good Friday and Christmas Day. Edinburgh Castle ceased to serve as a royal residence in the early 17th century. By the late 18th century, it was no longer used as a military fortress. It began its transformation into a tourist attraction in the 19th century, with significant restoration and conservation work starting in the 1820s. The castle has since become one of Scotland's most popular tourist destinations. Officially open to the public and managed by Historic Environment Scotland. The Great Hall was completed in 1511 for King James IV. It served as the main ceremonial hall of the castle, hosting grand banquets and state events. The walls of the Great Hall are adorned with an extensive ray of weaponry, including a display of swords, pikes and guns. It serves not only as a historical exhibit, but also as a tribute to Scotland's military history and craftsmanship. Alongside the weaponry, there are suits of armour on display, offering a glimpse into the protective gear used by soldiers and knights. The hammer beam roof is made from oak and is both functional and decorative. This purpose-built prism was a place of punishment for soldiers at the castle who broke the rules. Troops were locked up here for offences such as drunkenness, fighting and absence without leave. Prison was a more humane alternative to floggings, which had previously been used to enforce discipline. The prison was completed in 1845. It has 16 cells, all which are well ventilated and heated. It closed in 1923 and it was reused during the Second World War until 1945. Its inmates left a large amount of graffiti scratched into the walls. The hammocks in the castle vaults are a reconstruction of the conditions experienced by prisoners of war. The hammocks were tightly packed in the vaults with limited space for the prisoners to move around. These hammocks were strung up in rows, mimicking the conditions aboard naval ships where many of the prisoners would have been held. Outside the historic walls of Edinburgh Castle, you can find the Murray Field Stadium. It is home to the Scottish Rugby Union and hosts various events, including concerts and football matches. That concludes our week at Edinburgh. Thanks for watching. See you next time.